Hey guys, uh, this is Bull here. I found a armadillo on the road. Uh, he was injured. Actually, he wasn't moving at all when I first saw him. And then when I um, retrieved him, and um, I seen that he his, his, he was breathing a little bit. And uh, since I put him in the back of my uh, truck, he's starting to move a little bit more now. So I'm going to... I'm going to take him back home and um, see what I can do for him. And um, maybe I call animal control or whatever and uh, see if this little guy can get a little second chance. He's trying real hard, so with uh, God's grace, maybe uh, he will uh, make a full recovery. All right, guys, so here's my friend, the armadillo that uh, retrieved off of the middle of the street. He was for dead, and uh, little by little, I've been nursing him, and uh, see he's dr he, now I got him drinking water. His back legs are, are totally injured. I don't know if they'll ever be any uh, usable again, so he kind of drags himself around right now. He's gradually, gradually digging in over there. He has an injury on his back, so it's like a wound there. And I noticed flies been hang, been going over there, and they're laying eggs in that in, uh, on that wound. And what's taking place is now maggots. Maggots are growing in there, and in, in a way, in a way, it's a good thing because the maggots, right? The maggots will eat all the disease. They'll eat all the uh, the dead flesh in there. And that would help. That would help heal that, right? But I don't want. I don't want the. I don't want them to be on there too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flush them off right now. Then I'm going to uh, put some medication on it and just cover it up. As long as, as long as he keeps drinking water and he looks like he, you know, wants to try to live, I'm going to do everything I can, even, you know, if he has these broken legs. Now, like I said, I called animal control and animal control just told me uh, he's an invasive species and they won't pick him up. I'm pretty sure there's maybe some other places that may be able to get him, but his legs are broken. I don't think those legs will ever uh, work again. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna see how far how far he has the will to live. And as long as he looks like he's trying to live, I, I got no problem leaving him over there and um, helping him out, uh, letting him feed. Maybe he can get some worms. I'll I'll move him around and whatnot. And uh, he has a forever home here until. Um, you know he has the will to keep living all right so we'll, we'll 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 keep tracks on him and i'll let you guys know how things are going with him and um keep you posted all right say hello to my friend here all right um so as you can see right here see his legs in the back they ain't got no mobility on them and stuff and um i think they will you know, the wound goes right over. So it looks like a car might have just ran over him altogether. So. We're going to see, you know what I mean? I'm going to, uh, that wound on his back, I just looked in there and it goes down in there pretty deep. Pretty deep. So, um. Goes pretty deep. So, we're gonna see. I mean, you know, we're gonna see he has the will to live, and if it's possible that that wound heals, 
and after it heals, maybe, uh, maybe his, you know, maybe it might bring a little bit of strength to his legs. I don't know. I don't think so, but um, why not give it a chance, right? So he's a cute little guy, you know what I mean? We got to give him every possible chance. So we're going to go ahead and put him back in his little little area where I have him. And um, I know you're in a lot of pain, buddy. That little maggot right here in your face. All right. So. He's eating a night crawler. So excited about that. That was a big night crawler, y'all. That's fantastic. You go, cool, boy. You keep it up like that, I'm gonna nurse you back to health. My boy don't play. You guys gotta help me find a name for him. What should I name him? big fat juicy oh by the way here this is my soil bank see this soil bank right here just big giant soil bank this is all from debris garden debris and all and look how beautiful it has turned out just loaded with worms all right let's try to give them another one Yeah, he's just whooping them down like nothing. All right, so he ate four big giant night crawlers. I'm gonna just leave him here because he's not really gonna go too far. Um, his back legs, uh, I don't know. I don't know if they'll ever recover from, but um, we'll see. I'll take it as far as I can with him and uh, we'll keep you posted. All right, guys, so let's say good night to the armadillo. I got him in a clean area. I'm going to put some uh, some um, mesh over him there so flies can't get inside there to start trying to get inside the bandage or whatnot. But uh, since armadillos normally uh, spend their time foraging at night and sleeping during the day, 
I'm gonna let them go to sleep. And um, at night, I'll take them over to that to that spot over there and just leave them out there for the night and then carry them back over here in the morning. Good night.